Now we feature the second episode in our series looking more in depth at the commentary screen reader. Over to you, Mariam. Commentary screen reader, or the Chinese screen reader, has gotten really popular among blinds and visually impaired recently. And here, on the Blind Android Users Podcast, we will have a series of episodes in which we will talk about how to use the screen reader and how to get the best out of it. Welcome to the second episode of CSR's Basics. So, in the last episode, we actually have mentioned what things you have to know before installing CSR, or if you're thinking of getting CSR, what you should know. The other thing that I actually forgot to mention uh, last week, that actually the... um, Premium version of CSR does have another additional feature, which is called Recognition Engine, which actually does recognize what's on your screen um, and tells it if you have text or anything like that or thing that's not read, the screen reader will recognize it for you, and that's included in the um, premium version of CSR. So now what we are planning to do is actually... Um, I have installed CSR for the first time. What should I do? So we will actually know what exactly things we should do and settings we should configure. At first, I'd like to say that there are a couple ways to um, configure your settings. The first one is that you can use TalkBack in configuring settings if you actually prefer that and you don't prefer turning the screen reader on first. And the second way is you can actually turn the screen the screen reader on and then you could do um, your settings. So here I haven't turned it on yet. It's pretty much the same. So I'm gonna go to settings, settings. to accessibility. Accessibility voice assistant, accessibility. So accessibility this is different on um, every single phone. Here I just like on Samsung phone, I do have it in settings without needing to go anywhere else. But some phones do have it in system um, and some in general management. So it's really, really different. But I think that on Samsung phones, um, it could be the same. So from here, we would go to install services, talk back and find services. Install services. Here you could have TalkBack and any screen reader um, you could have. Installed services. Commentary screen reader off. So we go to CSR. Commentary screen reader. Navigator. Commentary screen reader off. Switch. It's off. So at first, commentary settings. We could go to settings. Commentary screen reader. Commentary screen reader. Welcome to commentary screen reader. Welcome to commentary screen reader. The best enjoy screen reading software. Choose one of the three options. Set up wizard. Let you set up basic settings to help get you started quickly. Click on view permissions to read about various permissions and exit to leave the wizard. So here we have three options, as it says. Welcome to commentary screen reader. Configuration wizard button. Configuration wizard. Permission description. Button. Permission description. Exit button. And exit. So configuration wizard, this the settings for CSR and permission. It's the permission that screen reader does need to have before using it. And it definitely improves everything like microphone because it does have um voice commands and things like that. So we we'll go for permissions first. That's what I do prefer, and that's what I do actually. Permission description button. Permission description. Set include menu. Permission description. Set include manual for further details. Configuration wizard button. So you can actually uh, read the manual for details. Exit button. Privacy policy button. Permission description. Set include manual for further details. Okay. Configuration wizard button. Check permissions. Click check permissions. We'll check permissions if we press on configuration. Click next to grant basic permissions or cancel to exit. Exit button. Cancel button. Next step button. Next. Allow commentary screen reader to make and manage phone calls. Allow CSR to make and manage phone calls. Uh, this is for answering and calling things like that. So we'll hit allow. Allow button. We do have allow commentary screen reader to access photos, media, and files on your device. That's for um, downloading things because you could download sound themes from the cloud. Uh, you could download extensions and plugins, and we would know about that in more details 
in our um, upcoming episodes. So I tell it yes. So this is very important. Commentary screen motor support various navigation modes. The default ones to use the up and down swipe gestures and default movement gestures. However, if you are used to swiping left and right for movement, you can set it here too. Swipe left and use the default gesture set or swipe right to use the alternative gesture set. Okay, so here is very important. Why? Because as we know in talk back, we swipe left, we get the previous item, and if we swiped right, we get the next item. But I know also some people who use up to get the previous item and down to get the next item. So here it asks you if we want to use which one of them. And that's very important because when we will go to set the rotor up, uh, we would need this. So for me, using the alternative gesture button. I definitely would use using the default gesture button. The using left the alternative gesture button. right swiping. Using the alternative gesture button. The alternative because that's why I do prefer we use tense. Use tense to help notice user familiarize themselves with the use of the screen reader. If this is your first time using your mobile phone, we recommend to enable this option for a seamless experience. However, if you are an experienced mobile user, we recommend turning this option off for more concise experience. Okay, so use tense. Use tense mean uh, when uh, you are focused on item. So it says double tap to activate, double tap and hold to get more options, or anything like that. So if you are a beginner, I definitely do recommend turning that on because it's really important and it definitely would help you. Uh, if you're still learning gestures and things like that. Read the list range. Reading the index of the currently focused. Help the list might help you orient text better in the length in your current position in the list. However, the read prompts will be longer and some people might find it difficult or disturbing. So this one actually, um, what what it means is that when you're in the list, it tells you columns and rows and things like that. It's also really important uh, if you want to know exactly where you are. Um, for me, I don't use it. Exit button. So here um, it means that the screen reader would read every single notification you would get. And here I would like to mention something. In Talkback, we actually know that if the media is playing, Talkback doesn't announce any incoming notifications. But here, Dicho or CSR doesn't actually care. Read notification. Read notification. Well, turn this option on in order to have all notifications read. Notification will be read. Button. Definitely would turn that on because I want my notifications to be read. Use a single TT. Use a single TT as engine. Select if you want to use two TT as engines for reading. The first one will be used for reading main information like the current focus and other very important things. The second engine will be used to read notification and any other. Cast important messages like the bubbles. Okay, this one is really important as well. So here in CSR, we do have, uh, we can use single TTS or we can use two TTS at the same time. But I actually thought that this uh, feature is for free users, but apparently it's for premium users. So we can't use this unless we do have the premium subscription. And the other TTS, which is called the secondary TTS, um, it's used for reading notifications and volume prompts, um, if you're turning volume down and up, and some other stuff as well. So that could be helpful. I don't use it as much, so a single TTS engine will be used button. I will say single TTS. The setup is complete. You can set column restart setup wizard. So this is completed apparently. You can set column restart setup wizard. Gesture help button. Help screen button. We do have the gesture help, which helps you to using gestures if you want. We do have uh help. Gesture help screen button. Help screen. Which is uh, similar to the one in Talkback. Okay button. And we do have okay, so press okay. Commentary screen reader. Open commentary screen reader about page. Open startup settings. Check the notification permissions. Check battery optimization permissions for proper functioning of the program. So this one is very important because um, if you do have battery optimization, sometimes some uh, features won't work. Check the status of permissions used for the program's loading windows. Check permissions. Configuration wizard. There's a check permissions. Commentary screen reader. Configure configuration. Text box. Which we actually default. Did. Open commentary screen reader about page. Open startups. Open commentary screen reader. Configuration wizard. So we will go back. We will see now how to set the rotor because I know that all of us will use the rotor. At first, what rotor means? Rotor means um, it's similar to the one in Talkback, like when you swipe up, up and down. It actually tells you characters, words, paragraphs, lines, and things like that. But here in D-Show, it's much more interesting, I tell you. <laughs> Commentary screen reader. 20,200,000,400,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,000,
So at first, I want you to know. Um, we won't get go in details into settings because we will explain this, um, next episodes. But I would I want to tell you what each uh, setting is about. Email nine four general settings. Email nine four six zero four nine two two nine at qq dot com. Oh, see this email. That's the one I've mentioned in the last episode when I talked about that you can actually reach the uh, developer and ask for any help or even send your feedback. Or if you do have any issue, he could definitely help you. Um, this number is the version of CS4. General settings. We have general settings. TTS settings. TTS settings, which does, ha which does have, um, you know, TTS volume, speed, and things like that. Feedback settings. Feedback settings, which is really related to audible feedback, vibration feedback, um, and also feedback volume in addition to what theme do you want to use action settings action settings that's related to how csr should behave in various um stuff like gestures and things like that menu settings and things like that content presentation settings content presentations this regarding um how disho should actually speak um, like menus, lists, and things like that, and what should Gshow pronounce? Notification settings. Notification settings. It's related to uh white list and black list, and and, and if Gshow should announce uh, notifications when the screen is logged and things like that, which is definitely really important, and we will definitely talk about that in much more details in the next episode. Advanced settings. Advanced settings, which is advanced. Extensions. Extensions, that the, that's the thing I've actually mentioned um, in the beginning when we were talking about downloading things from the cloud and giving it permission. Plugins and tools. Plugins and tools, it's another really interesting thing uh, in D-Show. Download additional resources. Download additional resources, which here we can get um, the new versions of FDR, or also we can download plugins, tools, extensions, as well as sound themes and gesture apps and things like that. Cloud notes. Cloud notes. Um, here you can actually store your notes if you want. It's like Google Keep and things like that. Reading mode. Reading mode. Accessibility settings. Accessibility settings, which is pretty much the same one you do have uh, in your device. It's actually here, here as well, so you can get it from here. User center. User center, which does have everything from the Telegram group to the WhatsApp group and everything like that. Help and feedback. Help and feedback. Everybody on technology company limited commentary screen review system third party technologies sent to the AI by the AI by the TTS by the translator by the MTS and Rolo Plus etc. So here, um, the collaborators, uh, to actually make the screen reader commentary screen reader twenty million email nine four six zero four nine two two nine. So let's go and set the router up because I know it's really important to you if you are, um, you know, a user or if you've, you've been user, um, using Talkback. I know it's really important. Content presentation settings notifications so. content presentation action settings. We will go to action settings apparently. Action settings. Navigate up button. Action settings. So action settings. Gesture theme default. We have the gesture theme. It's default. Default gesture settings. Gesture description. Gesture description. Gesture settings. Gesture settings. Gesture, gesture theme. Configure app gesture theme. Use the game mode. Put the application in the game. Alternative gesture settings. Okay, so uh, the the game remote is really important if you are a gamer. It definitely helps you a lot. Scrolling settings. Scrolling setting. A gesture settings. It's gesture settings. Shortcut key settings. Shortcut keys. Custom hot theme settings. Custom hot theme. Quick action settings. Quick actions. Multi part gesture settings. Multi part gestures if you are an Android 11 user. Fingerprint reader gesture settings. Fingerprint reader gestures. Um, it's pretty much as uh, similar to the dog bag. Other settings. Other settings. Navigate so, what we want here is actually scrolling settings. Scrolling settings. Scrolling settings. Scrolling settings. Use left right swipe to navigate. Checkbox checked when using the default gesture theme. Change focus with left right swipe. Execute shortcut functions with left down swipes. All right. So actually, we have checked this in the configuration wizard. If you do remember. Wrap navigation checkbox check. Remember the focus position checkbox unchecked. So this one is very important. I definitely love it. Um, what does it mean is that if you log the screen, if you were browsing a certain website and you log the screen, when you turn the screen back on again, Disha will directly remember where was the last um, location you 
your risk cursor was at, which is definitely really important. I think, well, Talkback does it sometimes, but it doesn't ask you if you want that or not. And that's what I really love about CSR. It's really customizable. Check. I'll check that. So actually here, CSR separates the rotor between web pages and normal browsing. What do I mean is that? For instance, if you are not browsing, like if you're browsing a website, you would get something like links, um, headings, uh, forms, and things like that. But if you're browsing normally your phone, uh, you're on Facebook or anything like that, you definitely won't need those type of types of things. So CSR separates them. If you are in a web view, it will give you a different um, type of navigation elements definitely ad with additional things that you definitely need on a web page so i would if you want this to work you would check this box check. and Select navigation items used on web pages. after you check this box you'll find this really amazing dialogue so here you could actually tell csr what you do want if you're browsing a web view Select navigation items used on web page. Select navigation. Default uncheck. We have the default, which is the default if you want to browse every single element without any problems. Check. Title check. So we have title. Uh, it's supposed to be hidden, but, you know, it's. I think it's... Well, it could work. So actually, this is um, title. I would definitely check this because if you want to browse headings and things like that. Check. Link check. Links. Check. Button. Check. Landmark. Landmark. Check. Edit box check. Edit box. Check. Focusable element on check. Focusable element. Check. Control on check. Control. Check. Image on check. Image. Check. Check box on check. Check box. Check. Combo box on check. Combo box. Check. Form file on check. Form file. Check. List on check. List. Check. List item on check. List item. Check. Scroll. Check. View on check. View. Check. Character on check. Character. Check. Word on check. Word. Check. Line on check. Line. Check. Hyper on check. Check. That means paragraph, but it, it's um that's a translation mistake, I guess. Page on check. Page. Check. Copy on check. Page check. Copy on check. Copy. This is really interesting. We'll actually explain this um uh, in a while. Check. Volume on check. Volume. That could change the volume. Check. Speech rate on check. Speech rate. Check. Recognition engine on check. Recognition engine, which as I said, it's only in the premium subscription. Check. Cancel button. Okay button. And hit okay. Scrolling settings. Browse by control on web page. Select navigation items used on web pages. Volume. Speech rate. Recognition engine. So here it gives you what you actually have selected. If we scroll again. Browse by control type checkbox unchecked. If the gestures conflict occur, please do not the gestures. So browse by control type. This is in the normal browsing. We have to check this before first. Check. Select navigation types used in standard views. Select navigation elements or. Browse. Select navigation types used in standard views. Select navigation types um, in standard views. So here, select navigate, select navigate, default uncheck. we would check default. Check. It's pretty much um, the same, but with items decreased or elements decreased because uh, in web pages it's definitely um, more. Text uncheck. Text. Check. Button uncheck. Button. Check. Text box uncheck. Check. Text box. Image uncheck. Image. Check. Check box uncheck. Check box. Check. Progress box uncheck. Check. Progress part, we don't have this in uh, the um, web um, navigation. List on check. List. Check. List item on check. Check. List item. Focusable element on check. Check. Focusable element. Clickable element on check. Clickable element. Check. Note on check. Note. Check. We don't have this also um, in web. Slider on check. Slider. This is well. Check. Move vertically on check. Move vertically. Character on check. I don't like this, so I won't check it. So we have character. Check. Word on check. Word. Check. Line check. Line. Check. Paragraph. Check. Or it means paragraph. Page on check. Page. Check. Copy on check. Copy. Check. Volume on check. Check. Volume. Speech rate on check. Check. Speech rate. Recognition engine on check. Check. In recognition engine. Cancel button. So. Okay button. Hit. Scrolling okay. settings. Check box on check. Automatically scroll pages. Check box on check. Automatically scroll to the next page when you read the end of This one is really um, useful, I guess. So it tells you if you're on a page. Um, do you want it to scroll? Without you, you know, using the two fingers gestures, sometimes you don't, you want this, so it's definitely pretty 
useful. And it's finished. So I, I want to point something out because I really, um, you know, wasn't familiar to that. Here in CSR, uh, we don't get, like, if the dialogue is finished and we are at the end, it directly takes you to the first item again. It doesn't just, you know, stop and then if you scroll again, it would take you to the first item like Talkback does. Um, which I think, you know, sometimes it could be useful and sometimes it can't. So it definitely does have advantages and disadvantages as well. So I'm using CSR now. I would definitely show you what this copy miracle thing uh, does and how actually it does work. So navigation check check. Here we are uh, focused on something called web navigation. If we want to copy it, um, there are a lot of ways to do that. But we can actually copy it through a really, really easy uh, thing. So if we scroll up, speech rate. we have speech rate copy. and copy. So copy, if we actually swap to the right, it would say message copied. message copied. So it copied the thing that we are focused on. If we actually swiped left, it would say text appended. text appended. Text appended means it added the thing, the last text you wanted to copy to the other thing that you have on like in your clipboard already, which is I think really useful because I really needed that before it wasn't in talkback to be honest. Um, also, I want to point something out here in CSR. If you want to copy something, it will copy the thing that the cursor is focused on. Uh, it's not similar as TalkBack. TalkBack does copy the last thing it was pronounced. Or, yes, it was, it was pronounced. But here in CSR, it does copy the thing that um, you're focused on, no matter uh, what actually it said, um, you know, before we died. doesn't matter. And I think it's very useful. Um, also, copying the last pronounced thing is also useful. Um, I don't know if does that does exist in CSR, but I'm still looking for that and looking that up. We'll see how that goes. So today we actually have talked about how to configure your settings and the permissions you would give. And also the rotor, because I know it's very useful to many people. And also we have talked about the settings and um the navigation elements and copying process so in the next episode we'll go more in, um in details about the settings and every uh single dialogue of them and we will see how this screen reader or this um monster of screen reader could work and how it's actually really customizable as i see and also, we would know, because this is actually our, you know, my, my goal for this series is actually to get the best out of your screen reader. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you do actually have any questions, do feel free to reach out to me or to the whole podcast at contact us at blindandroidusers.com. And I hope you enjoyed this one. We'll see you next week. Thanks for listening.